Take it away, Jimmy. Welcome, GDQ. I am stupidly excited, a little bit nervous, but stupidly excited. My name is Jimmy underscore Diamonds. You can just call me Jimmy. Before we do anything else, happy birthday, Nicole. You absolute legend. Thank you ever so much for doing all the amazing stuff that you do. Thank you to GDQ for being silly enough to have me live on stream. That just seems like a bad idea for everyone involved. I am here today to play Battle Axe. Battle Axe was released in April 2021, not 2020 as it shows on the screen. I didn't make the game. I don't do all the credits. Never mind. Battle Axe is a game very similar to your arcade brawls and arcade, um, your arcade um, adventure games like things like Chaos uh, Engine, like things like Gauntlet, like Arcus Odyssey. Oh, that's not even a word. Arcus Odyssey, excuse me. And we are going to be trying to absolutely rip through this game as quickly as possible. So before we do anything else, we are going to go to the options to show that we are on easy difficulty. Now that's not just because I am a scrub, even though that's a good, good percentage of the reason. This is because the game has no continues. That's right, and I only get three lives. That's right. So if I lose all three lives, that's run over, and I can make an absolute fool of myself in front of nearly 60,000 amazing people here at GDQ, which will just be really embarrassing. But it doesn't matter, because it's just a video game. Let's see where we can have a lot of fun. Have my game just crashed? It possibly has just crashed. <laughs> no, it hasn't. It's all back and working. That's amazing. Right, we have had a bid war going on for this game. Uh, where the amazing donators are choosing a character. So, Nicole, who is our winner? Our winner is Faye the Dark Elf. Amazing. Faye the Dark Elf. She is pretty dang awesome. There we go. We have lovely Faye here. Now, uh, we normally use IGT to uh, time this game. We are, of course, going to be using RJ to do this. It's going to start as soon as I take control of the character. A couple of things beforehand. One, I'm going to be trying to collect as much gold as I feasibly can. That's dropped by the enemies and also found in some chests. There are going to be eight different chests I have access to during the game. If any of those chests do not have any gold in them, I'm going to be donating $5 to GDQ for each one minus gold. So if I don't get gold, GDQ gets gold. I think that's a pretty good compromise, don't you? Don't you? I can't hear you, crowd. That's because I'm overseas in a completely different country. But we are pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to be pressing the button and we're going to start very, very shortly in three, two, one. Here we go. Now, Faye has knives. She likes attacking things with knives. She can throw the knife, she can dash with the knife, or she can slash with the knife. As you can see, nice and dangerous. The main enemies in the game are going to be these weird orcs. Um, but the main goal of those is going to be to try and kill those orcs and other enemies that appear to try and get the gold that is flashing up and down the screen. We use the gold in between the stages. That's one $5 donation already, everyone. Ha <laughs> ha! Good luck, me. Uh, the gold is very important because between the stages, we get to buy upgrades and upgrades equal prizes. They don't. They just mean I can move a lot faster, do a lot more damage, and that's all good. We're going for the second chest now. Amazing chest ahead. We get gold! We've got lots of gold. That's wonderful. So still only at those $5. The thing with Faye is that she's relatively quick, but her actual damage output is relatively low. And some of the bosses in this game are real, real tanky. So we have to try and boost our attack damage and potentially our speed as much as we can and as quickly as possible. Hence why we've got to collect gold as fast as we can. There we go. Sometimes we have to destroy some towers. That's fun. You'll see that I do have to destroy some generators. So very similar to Gauntlet and very similar to Chaos Engine. If you destroy those towers, you stop enemies from spawning in and you can open up gates and that's great. We are nearly at the first boss already. That's quick. There we go, we kill this guy. Now, with this first boss, I'm just going to stand here. I've got a good amount of health and I'm going to be firing this dagger and just standing in place and damage boosting. You can't do this on the harder difficulty modes. If you try and do this on the harder difficulty modes, everything goes to pop because... Oh, kill yourself. There we go. There we go. There's the first boss down. The first boss is gone. It's great. 1 minutes 28, good gracious, that's not that fast. Who cares? It's a video game, it's fun. This is Elfwin, she is our merchant. Do we have enough gold to buy anything? We don't, we have one, one gold away from getting the speed up. I am disappointed in myself, but that's okay. We'll pick up on the next stage immediately. There is some gold there, fantastic stuff. Not the barrels and it blows things up. Didn't actually kill anything, that was terrible. Whatever, again, destroying things, picking up gold. Those skelly boys were a new enemy introduced from this stage. They are very, very fast. They are super fast. They are quite scary sometimes, especially if you are some of the other characters because the other characters can be a lot slower than Faye, and of course, they can come at you and they will attack you and try and stab you in the bum. Lovely, there we go. So, this is a stage where you'll start seeing enemies dropping in 
from the sky. So we have to be careful sometimes because those enemies can just spawn in and land on your head and they do immediate damage. That's not fun. I also see that I'm going to be going to the far left of this side and trying to destroy something from off where I am. Oh, I'm taking a bit too much damage. That's fine. There we go. We've got plenty of gold now. That tower opens up a gate, which would normally be here. Another chest. Are we going to bomb? That is another $5 donation straight to you lovely people at GDQ whilst I'm taking out all these skelly boys. Those tentacles that are following me around, they're pretty annoying as well because they have a little bit hit stun when you hit them, but then they just kind of keep chasing you and following you. Like that one there. Oh, golly gosh. There we go. Uh, Nicole, if you have a donation to read, then now is the time to do so. Oh, Jimmy, I have so much love coming in for you. I have $25 from Paul Team. Jimmy running at GDQ, say it ain't so. I have to oh. donate during this absolute legends run. Good luck, Jimmy, and of course, Sega Crew Hype. Sega Crew Hype, big shout outs to the lovely Sega Crew. What a great bunch of people. That's another $5 donation to GDQ from me. My chest RNG, that sounds wrong. My chest RNG not going so well today, but it's going very well for GDQ. There we go. We are flying through here. We are destroying the orcs. Like a three inches of blood song. That's an old reference. You ask your parents, that's all good. This is quite a scary section here because we've got lots of the skelly boys who come at you very, very quickly and spawn as well, so that's fun. Okay, so we're going to destroy another tower on the top left. And we're going to open up a bridge and then we're going to have another chest. Oh, yes, there's chests of plenty here. Again, sounds wrong. We've got some more gold. That's great for me because that means I can get a full upgrade for the next level. And we are a boss. This is a crab. So if you have any crab emotes, please get them out in the chat for the closest crab rave you will ever have on GDQ. I am about to possibly die. That's quite funny. Oh, here we go. We lost a life. That's all right. I tell you what, just for bonus, let me give another $5 donation for that death. But that's all right. The crab rave is over. The crab rave is over. 348. That's okay for Faye at this point in the stage. That's okay. So we're now back to Elfwyn to purchase another couple of upgrades. We are going to be buying the speed up. Have a guess what that does. We're going to be buying the extra strength. Have a guess what that does. We have basically got everything we need to get to the last boss now, with the exception of a magic scroll. We're going to get enough gold in the next stage in order to purchase that. We're going to go here. This stage is going to introduce some green orcs. They are awful because they ignore your iframes. You have to be very careful where and if you hit them because they can eat your life up very, very quickly, and that's not fun. Now, this stage has actually seen a rooting change since I have last been running this game at events. So we go up and to the right instead of to the left. It's a little bit quicker by about two seconds. Those guys are quite scary. He just went through me, and that was not fun. Whoa, there we go. We've got this guy again, and he died. That's lovely. Now, those little plant things like to shoot out spike balls at you. Ah, we've got some gold in another chest. Sorry, everyone. Those guys like to run at you and those spike balls like to shoot stuff at you. And we obviously have to be careful though, because that'll do damage and damage is not good for your health. I want it clear enough. There we go. Another chest. We've got some chicken. That's another $5 donation. Amazing. I have no idea what my count for my donations are at the moment, but it's okay. It's all for a good cause. Better sound some volunteers. What a great cause that is. Shoot this thing from off screen. Oh, kill those guys. Shoot this guy from off screen. Didn't even hit him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Never mind. Okay, probably a good time for another donation, actually, if there's any more. Oh, there are so many more. <laughs> we have $5 from Hypnotics. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Kind of mad how far you've come. We'll keep living the speed dream, and this is a PSA for all events, people. Hire this man if you need hype. He has it in bucket loads. Thank you, Hibby. I love you very much. Hibby, of course, running um, at GDQ tomorrow, remotely playing Knuckles Chaotix. There is a bid war for that in place. Get your money into that because you get to make his life a misery, as he deserves. That's not true. He's a lovely person, one of the nicest people I've ever met in real life or online. Genuine person, genuine person. Righto, we're on the last little run up to the boss of this stage, and we're going to be seeing a dragon. One thing I'm really confused about this game is that the game's called Battle Axe, but none of the characters actually wield a Battle Axe. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? But here is a boss. This is Dave the Dragon. Say hello, everyone. Now, Dave fires fire at me, weirdly enough. Who would have considered that? But he also drops these weird bomb things. Don't get too close, because those bombs, of course, do damage. Bombs, once again, are bad for your health. And the boss is gone. Bye-bye, Dave. It was lovely to see you. 
getting a two cycle on that bus is actually pretty difficult so i'm very happy that that's got through six minutes to at the end of that that's pretty good too amazing we have now got elfwin and we are going to be purchasing a magic scroll and just out of principle we're going to be purchasing the health increase health scroll i want to try and keep that until the very very last boss because this is the last stage this is scorious fire we've now got these red orcs red orcs throw things at you throwing things at me again that's not so good for my health we have got the last chest and the last chest gives me a bomb give me the scroll thank you uh so we've got all of our donations in play for the one death and for the chests that have not played ball with the rng because all those chests are complete rng yeah, that's fun. So we are having a very good time here. We've got these uh, magic dudes with the pointy hats. Uh, we can kill those before they really do any damage. So they can be a bit of a pain in the bum because they like chasing you with the things that they fire off. Now we've got the blue skelly boys. The blue skelly boys, they're even quicker than the grey skelly boys. So we want to try and get rid of those very, very quickly. There we go. Now we're now on to the last couple of stretches of the game. Make sure I don't run into the environment because I like getting stuck on the environment because it's a game that's built very similar to old school stuff. Nearly got hit by the gaseous mist. Uh, we are doing pretty good here. There's one, there's two, there is three times a magician. You just gotta be very careful here, because this section can be quite scary. You gotta take a lot of damage here. Ah, we've taken no damage there so far. That's unbelievable. I tell you what's gonna be really, really cool. We've got the Mega Man Wily Wars uh, run coming up very, very soon. So not only do I want you to donate to making Hibby's life a misery, I want you to donate so that Bobby, the amazing Blacktastic, can play Mega Man 2 from the Wily Wars. What a fantastic game that is. Get those done. Okay, we are now coming into the last actual stretch of the game. I've said that a couple of times now, but I'm telling the truth now. <laughs> so we're gonna be going around here, destroying these generators, trying to avoid the enemies, trying to avoid the fire. Fire, once again, bad for your health. Lovely stuff. Trying to get the one in the middle. And after we get all these towers destroyed, that's going to unlock the door so we can get to the final boss, who is Ethelred. I haven't explained the story of this game whatsoever because the story doesn't matter too much. It's a video game. Some games do have very good stories. Some have no story at all. And it doesn't matter. This is one of them. We are now going on to Ethelred, where we're going to be using that scroll. She is a big boss of the game. She's taken over the world. We're here to destroy her. And yeah, so we're just about to destroy her as well, which is lovely. So stand in space. Oh, nearly take too much damage then. And we're going to trigger. There we go. That's the first section down. We're now going to scan in this little section here. This is a blind spot. Boss can't hit me here. So I'm just going to mash, 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 mash away and go forward. Um, this is actually good time during the last boss for a donation if there is one. Oh, we nearly did a very, very good job one cycle in her. And nearly time, nearly time, nearly time, nearly time. It is time! That is done. 8.31. Very, very good time for Faye there. Very good time. About 40 seconds away from the world record of IGT. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Pretty good. We missed the donation, it's fine. So let me give a couple of super quick shout outs because so many people deserve them. I'm going to give a shout out to my family. I love you so very much. You mean the world to me. I do everything I do for you. You keep doing it. I love you. Thank you. Give a shout out to Club 601. That is Huds. That is Tej, my brother. I love you. That is Hibby. That is RPG. That is Broken Hyperlink. That is Lackies. That is everyone involved in that incredible crew. What a great bunch of people. Twitch.tv forward slash Huds 601. What a great guy that is. You're going to love it. Argic, I love you very much. The Joy Masher uh, Speed Smasher community. You guys are great. I know Sc uh, Scorpion, you are in the crowd. Give everyone a wave. I can't see you doing that. I'm across the ocean. Deal with it. Another big shout out to Nicole Goodnight. Thank you ever so much for being my host on your birthday. You absolutely amazing person. Um, I don't think I've forgotten anyone, but if I haven't mentioned you, I love you very much. GDQ, thank you ever so much for having me. Hopefully next time I'll be there in person and you get to deal with my volume at length. Gutted. There we go. That was an amazing run and it would be amazing to deal with your volume in person, please. That was fantastic. We have so much love coming in for Jimmy. I have $20 from HUD 601. Jimmy, everyone at Club 601 is super proud of you for making it into your first GDQ. Go out there and smash the run and stay handsome, you bearded legend. I have $5 from Polo. Hey all, Polo here. 